What we want to do, we want to set up some establishing shots of just the car driving around. We're going to record the car coming up around the corner. Wait, who's going to be driving it then? I'll be driving. Oh, well, who's driving now? Oh, Jesus. Have we found the Tesla killer? No, we have not. Or is it? No. But it's a fully functional EV that I got for just $3,000. Now I have a dealer that helped me get these things. If you don't, you can find them on Facebook Marketplace for five to $6,000. Which for an EV hobbyist is a great way to start for an EV project car. This is a 2012 Nissan Leaf. Brand new, this had 84 to 100 mile range. When they first made these, they didn't really understand that you had to keep the batteries uh, temperature controlled. So these very quickly diminish in range. This one currently is sitting at about 32 miles of range. So for a daily driver, it's not very practical. But for a project car, I think they could be great. We're gonna try to decide if a Nissan Leaf is a good replacement for a golf cart. This does not look very much like a golf cart. So I think what we're gonna do is take the doors off. I've never taken doors off of a car. I'm hoping it's just a couple of bolts. Probably some like electronics. Four bolts and then this piece and it should come right out. All right, I got the bolts off, but now I have to figure out that plug thing. Maybe I should have done that first. I definitely should have done the plug first. The little, little gray piece, pull that, push it up forward. Further. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna put it over here in the rat booth. It's already better. <laughs> so the front door had a little contraption that you had to unplug. The rear one, you just had to pull it out and it clipped undone. But look, with the rear one, I can actually just reach in there and... If anybody cares, 12 millimeter. Now what's holding it in? Just the handle? I thought. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. There it is. Yes, just the handle. If anybody wants to buy some leaf doors, Daniel came up with a good idea. We're converting a leaf to a golf cart. If you would like to convert a golf cart to a leaf, We'd be happy to sell you some doors. This looks like it's gonna hurt. Like if you walk by that and hit that, the top one's riveted in. Riveting. I could, yeah, I could take the bottom one off. All right, this one, I did the plug first. So. It was like $87 on Amazon. I mean, they've, they've been around forever, those kind of things. Like, acting like they were. We're gonna have to mute the gibberish in the background. <laughs> That's where the spiders can live. Now, we're gonna take out the rear hatch. This also looks like four bolts and two plugs, two uh, hydraulics, which are each two bolts. Actually, this one doesn't seem to have an unplugger thing like the other one did. It didn't really reveal anything. <laughs> uh, no. We're just gonna have to cut this. The front doors register they're open just by this button. So I should be able to like turn that off. The problem is the rear registers it's opened with this latch up here. And these don't just simply unplug like the uh, door ones did. So I wanna cut them. So I'm gonna see if it'll drive with the hatch open without making terrible noises. <laughs> it's fine. Literally every possible thing is open. Alright! Let's chop it! I don't know if this is gonna work. I didn't bring my wire cutters. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that's gonna be sharp enough. Oh, that'll yeah. work! Why are they taking the golf cart and why did you take the door? We probably need to uh, separate the wires so they're not all shorting against each other. Jungle? Except you, you just stuffed it in the hole. Is this gonna fall on hitting him again when I take this off? What do you think? We got these undone, so we're gonna take the hydraulics off, and this is where it'll get heavy. I went the most dangerous route possible. It didn't change the heaviness at all. Because I think the hydraulics still. Um, there we go. Oh, it's not that heavy. It's beautiful! I unplugged this and the beeping stopped, so that's fixed. The beeping was only happening with the front door. For some reason. The yeah. front driver's side door. Look! Drive the door. Drive the door? The door's over there. Drive the car. Yeah. That is terrible.
terrifyingly fast at 25 miles an hour with the doors off. Move! We don't want to cause a short that could drain down the 12 volt battery. We're just going to trim these up because it did spark a little when I was trying to clip this with the uh, hedge trimmers. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Never to be thought about again. <laughs> this is my brand new Tesla. And I'm going to show the badge of on the O. But one of the benefits of having a leaf over a golf cart is the fact we have AC. We'll just use our minimal range to cool down the earth. It's still blowing out on us, so it is a little cool. Mine was mine was pointed out the door. Well, it's hot out. The golf cart easily makes it around the wooded path we have. So we are gonna follow the golf cart in the leaf. Yeah. Let's check the map to see where we are. The one worry about the leaf over the golf cart is the sheer weight of the leaf, which might not let it go as many places as the golf cart can go. We did take the doors off, but those doors felt like they only weighed about 10 pounds each. <laughs> they must have driven through a spider web. <laughs> yeah, Leela has completely abandoned vehicle. See, that's the other nice thing. We have a complete windshield. And air conditioning. I think it's actually worth the sacrifice and mileage to get a little bit of AC going. Despite the fact that it immediately just blows out the side, of course. I have mine aimed at me. Uh, you gonna get out? Wasn't planning to, but all right. We know the golf cart can make it up and around this hill because we did it during our bush hog. This is the hill. Then past the cabin. Yeah, go up and around behind the. The one we bush hog. The battery died? Score one for the leaf, because yeah. we still have 13 miles of range. <laughs> but I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Where do you, how do you get the battery charged? What do you do? What do you mean? We just we'll push, push it up there and get it it's sliding a little bit. Yeah, but it was mostly fine. <laughs> yeah, just this thing has speed on its side. That was pretty fun. I think this thing will make a good golf cart. Uh, we're gonna do some more to it in upcoming videos. We're gonna try to turn it into a proper like farm vehicle. For the next half of the video, I'm gonna show you some of the downfalls to having a Nissan Leaf. I'm gonna show you what it took to get this car 60 miles from auction to this barn. All right, guys, I came to the auction to pick up my leaf. When we got here, it had zero range. So they came and were able to tow it, the charging port at the auction. It's been sitting here now for about 30 minutes and it's up to about 13 miles. I need to get to 20 miles to make it to the next charge port. So I'm going to wait here and let it charge. I'm up to 15 miles, so, so probably another half an hour. Guys, this is the beauty. Any idea what we can do to make this look better? Like even if I take off the bumper, it still has this Lovely little curve right there. 28. Oh, one more out. Oh my God. All right, let's see if we can figure out the screen. Uh, charging timer. One hour would give me full charge. Man, 29 miles though. And I have to make it 20. Is it worth it going now? Or should I give it a little more time? Every time I give it here, is less of a chance I get stuck on the road. Usually I'm against recording and driving. I'm apparently in some sort of limp mode. Don't even know why. I can get up to 32 miles an hour because I'm going down a hill. Up a hill I can go 24. Oh, look at that. Man, feel the speed. This is going up a hill. Oh, I bet I crested the hill. So now I'll gain a couple miles an hour. We found another hill. Think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Ugh. Range is holding pretty good. 21 miles to go 11, so that's been accurate. But this is a nightmare. I knew it was gonna be an adventure trying to get a leaf 36 miles. This is not part of the adventure I expected. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Ijem's Church Road. Be having to go 26 miles an hour for the 36 miles. Quick update, I made it to the McDonald's with a charge point, but this leaf 
doesn't have the fast charger, so I couldn't hook up to that McDonald's. My buddy has a barn that is six miles away from the McDonald's. I think I'm gonna make it. But once I get there, I'll plug it in and hopefully I can come out with a computer. This has been an adventure. All right, I made it to the barn, so I'm finally in a safe place. If you wanna go under 26 miles an hour, this car is just fine. Let's see if I can drift around the corner. Oh, limp mode. Ah, in a barn. I came out with a code reader and I could not get it to get out of turtle mode. That's my helper. Helper, we're gonna limp this thing to my house. Feel the speed. This is really a nightmare. <laughs> I, I found another hill, so I'm limited to the 25 miles an hour. There's a stop sign up ahead. Should I start slowing down? I don't know what happened, but I'm getting some speed now. It's almost like a real car. What the hell? Woohoo! Well, that was short lived. Back to 25. The countryside's beautiful, though. It's uh, a little after 10 o'clock at night. This person is swerving at me. Can't do anything, buddy. I'm driving at night. I'm taking it to the EV shop we know. We have a while to be together. 26 miles an hour and it's a seven mile adventure i'm gonna get pulled over the cop's gonna ask me son do you have any idea why i pulled you over but like, yeah because i'm going 26 miles an hour at 10 30 at night and you want to make sure i'm not drunk or stoned i'm not <laughs> this is all i can do we're back with the leaf i got it back from the shop i made it there successfully the reason it was in limp mode as somebody had replaced the battery and couldn't pair it with the system. The EV guy, battery guy we use, was able to use his computer to pair the battery with the system, erase the codes, and now it's back. I mean, it's still a Leaf, but it is now a Leaf that can drive the speed of a regular car. So we're gonna continue our journey to get the Leaf to the barn. The barn is roughly 35 miles away from where I live. The range of the Leaf is probably 37 miles. I don't really feel like risky. I mean, 35 miles, that's a risky journey in a Leaf. I'm gonna drive it to my buddy's house, the guy that helps me get these cars. He's my stepbrother. It's about halfway between here and the barn. Park it at his house, let it charge over the night, go back to his house the next day, then drive it the other half of the long adventure to the barn. And then the real fun can begin. I've got 33 miles. This house is about 15 miles away from here, but it's interstate, so it's going to be treacherous. Also, be wary, guys. If you're buying an old leaf, they talk about the bars degradating, going away. This one has full bars. That's because he was able to reset it. It does not mean it has that full 84 miles an hour or 84 miles range that it had new. A quick update. I had to go about six miles on the interstate. Six miles interstate is 65 miles an hour, which I can go now. That's great. Ate up 12 miles of range. And then when I got to the exit I was supposed to get off, there's construction. So I was diverted around another way. The diversion I had to take only added about half a mile, but I'm five miles away from the house now and I have 14 miles range. I made it to my dealer's house, car dealers, not drug dealer. And with 13 miles range, it actually got a lot better range once I actually started driving on the back roads. I can get to the farm on all back roads from here and it's only 10 miles. I really might could make it, but I like this plan of the half charge. Oh, the camera. Next time you're with me, we will be driving it to the barn and then the real fun begins. I might have already said that, but I'll delete that and I'll put this one in. We're back in the Leaf. I've got David Chloe as my companion. 28 miles to make it 9.8 miles. That's without AC. If I turn on the AC, I lose three miles. But if I put it in eco mode, I gain two miles. AC off, eco mode on, 31 miles. So yeah, I should be good. Let's get this thing to the barn. David Chloe, oh my gosh, a bee flew in the car in the woods. All right, David Chloe, we made it. She survived. Hello. 10 mile journey went from what 28 to 11 but that's all right we're now on the farm it doesn't matter where i go now we can always tow it to the barn i'm going to consider this journey success and the real test begins should you buy a nissan leaf or a golf car there it is in a barn i could just leave it here in 25 years somebody will open this barn and be amazed at the leaf they find thanks for watching another skippy rock adventure if you enjoyed this video please like it by hitting the thumbs up if you want to catch more of our adventures please subscribe and help our channel grow next time with the leaf we have some cosmetic and hopefully functional upgrades and we'll be doing some more off-road testing see you guys next time and go download skippy rock all right this is pretty fun i like this thing it's good
So, in your humble opinion, is this better than a golf cart? It's well, definitely better than a golf cart. 